What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fade on my boy, so stay tuned. We started by saturating the hair and combing everything in place, making sure everything is nice and neat. We then started off with our no guard all the way open, and we created our second guideline first, instead of making our first guideline with our trimmers. This is going to help us keep the fade a little bit lower and contour it to his head shape. Now that we're done creating our second guideline, we can move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline. Now that we're done creating our bald line and balding him out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Don't be afraid to move the ear with your opposite hand and also stretch the skin to give you more room to blend. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see, now that I'm done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, I can move on to the half guard and I'm also going to use the corners and the lever to erase it completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your half guard, so switching over to your no guard all the way open using those corners will definitely help. Now that we're done with the lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. I'm also flicking out as much as possible and I'm staying away from the parietal ridge, I'm not going too high. With this same guard, I'm then going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard.
Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard and its lever, we can move on to the one and a half guard and try to erase it completely. Again, sometimes after using your one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using those corners will definitely help. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open, and this is gonna help us create our silhouette and finish off the top. The hair was a little bit oversaturated, so I took out my blow dryer and dried it out a little bit. Now that the hair is a little bit drier and laid down, we can move on to our three guard all the way open and flick out as much as possible while using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. This is going to help us build our silhouette. Here I'm detailing as much as possible with my one and a half guard. I'm also using the corners as much as possible. Now that we're done detailing the sides, we can move on to the back and we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're slightly closing the lever midway and all the way close, attacking that initial guideline. We are near the subital bone, so you want to make sure you detail as much as possible and pay attention. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to slightly use this lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my half guard and I'm going to use the corners and its lever to remove the line completely. Now I'm heading back to my one guard all the way open just to re-clarify the line and also take it up a little bit higher. Now I'm moving on to my two guard all the way open and I'm using it to create my fourth guideline. Remember we're also using this lever to soften up this line and we're going to get ready for the one and a half guard. As you guys can see we're using the one and a half guard and it's lever to soften up this line and try to remove it completely. But since it's right on top of the silver bone, we are going to need to switch over to our one guard all the way open and use the corners and its lever to erase the line completely.
Now we're moving out to our three guard all the way open and we're gonna use our comb to feed the hair into the clipper while we flick out with our guard. You also want to pay attention and not go high here because you will cut the calic area and then it's going to cave in. Now we're moving on to our thinning shears and we're going to grab the hair with our comb and cut it with our thinning shears just the tip so we're also making sure we don't go too deep and cut too much bulk off. I did see a fade line between the one and a half guard and the two guard so I switched over to my two guard and used the lever to soften it up. We're going to knock the beard to a three guard all the way open and we're going to make sure everything's nice and even and run everything over multiple times. Now we're going to move on to the sideburns. When I'm fading the beard, I always start off with my no guard all the way open and then I slightly close the lever all the way closed. Then I move on to my one guard all the way open and use it as my second guideline and then I slightly close the lever all the way close again. Sometimes I use the one and a half guard, sometimes I don't. Now we're moving on to the two guard all the way open and we're also using this to debulk. Now we're switching over to our gold FX, we're going to light up the back of the beard. We're also being careful we don't press too hard near the neck area because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. The C cup areas are some of the most important parts of the haircut. So when I'm using my trimmers, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. And I'm always making sure I go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. Here we're cleaning up the bottom of the mustache, then we're going to move on to the lower beard and make sure it's as crispy as possible. When lining up the beard, you want to do it like the C cups, you want to go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly, then it won't look as crispy as possible. Again, when you're lining up the C cups, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. I'm also making sure I use the corners of the blade and I'm not pressing too hard because you could leave them a little rash or you could cut them with the teeth of the trimmer. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done detailing the back, we can move on to our shear work and make sure everything's nice and even on top. When I get to the sides of the capitis, I'm all cutting at an angle and I'm making sure it blends in with the top and sides.
What's going on guys, Faded Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a high fade on my guy, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place, making sure that everything's nice and laid down. Then we switched over to our goat effects and created our first guideline. You also want to make sure you always contour this guideline to the head shape so that the fade can flow better. Now that we're done bottom them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now that that guideline is set in, we can slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Don't be afraid to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more room to blend, as you can see what I'm doing here. Since we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Using this same guard, we're going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want us to support the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. As you guys can see, we're using the half guard and its lever to erase the line completely after we were done softening it up with the one guard. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're also going to use the comb to feed the hair into the clipper and flick out as much as possible. Once we're done setting in this line, we're then going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard.
Now that we're done softening up the line, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will definitely help. As you guys can see here, there's still a faint line, so I switched over to my one guard all the way open and used its corners. Now we're going to debulk the top with the 5 guard all the way open and also we're going to go as slow as possible making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the clipper. Now that we're done debulking the top we can move on to our clipper over comb method and begin to blend into the parietal ridge. Using your horizontal cuts to debulk is very critical and using your vertical cuts to blend is very critical. I'm also going back to my previous guards like the 3 guard all the way open and the 2 guard all the way open just so I could debulk and remove any weight lines I see. Now I'm detailing with my one guard all the way open and my no guard all the way open. With our one guard all the way closed, we're going to debulk the beard to make sure everything's nice and even. Now we're going to move on to the sideburns and begin to blend them. I'm starting off with my no guard all the way open and creating my second guideline. Now I'm going to use my trimmers to line up the back of the beard and make it as crispy as possible. I'm also going slow to make sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Now we're going back to the fade and we're going to detail as much as possible near the parietal ridge. Moving on to the back, we're going to use our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. We are right on top of the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here. 
If you're not sure what the occipital bone is, it's the bone that protrudes in the back of the head. Sometimes it either leaves dark spots or dents into the head, or also it makes an illusion of a bump or a dark hill. So you blending that out and making it as smooth as possible, blending it into the rest of the haircut is very important. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Now we're right above the occipital bone, so we're also going to spend more time here to make sure it's nice and smooth. Once we're done softening up this line with the one guard, we're going to move on to the half guard and erase it completely. Make sure to use the corners and the lever of the half guard to help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and flick out as much as possible while feeding the hair into the clipper with our comb. Remember that we're going to use this guard to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will definitely help you lighten that up. Now that we're done with our two guard, we can move on to our clipper of a comb and blend in the parietal ridge. Now that we're done with the fade, we can move on to the front line and start off in the middle working our way to the sides using our gold FX. I always make sure I go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer because if not then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. You always want to try and keep those corners and vertical bars as natural as possible. I don't like when people go to and make them at a acute angle. very gentle on the mustache we're moving on to the bottom of the beard or we're gonna make it as crispy as possible I hope you guys are enjoying the video please leave a like comment and subscribe is greatly appreciated also if you guys want to support the channel go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram now that we're done with the fade, we can move on to the Turkish Razor Derby Premium Blades to make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to apply some shave gel so that our blade could glide better. When you're using your razor, you always want to make sure you keep it at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 